In Communications Designer, you can add a table of contents to any page design. The first step is to determine what will appear in the table of contents. You can do that by creating table of contents entries. Select the text you want to use for the entry. In the Paragraph Properties card, select this checkbox. Then choose the level of heading to use for the entry. Finally, specify the text that you want to use as the entry. You can use the paragraph text, custom text, or a variable. This icon indicates that it's a table of contents entry. Now let's add a table of contents object. You can adjust the size and positioning of the table of contents. Then specify whether to include only the entries for the current document or for all documents in the communication. Choose the number of levels to include in the table of contents. If you're sending this design as a PDF, you can make all the entries into hyperlinks. Adjust these settings to change the formatting and layout of the table of contents until it looks like what you want. You can add rules to table of contents objects. Selecting the reading language ensures that assistive technologies use the correct pronunciation rules when converting the text to speech. If you think the table of contents will extend beyond the page, make sure to allow splitting. You'll also need to set up your design for flowing content. First, create a page to hold the overflow content. Then make sure to designate the page as a flow page. Insert a frame and position it the way you want it on the page. If you include a table of contents in a communications designer communication used by content author, then the content author user can specify additional TOC entries to include in the customer output. Watch our other videos to learn more about Communications Designer.